uh, aviation sector. Now we are learning that the Indigo Airlines has issued an advisory saying that the 6 seat travel advisory states that uh, expect an extended travel time due to traffic congestion and slow vehicular movement in Delhi and NCR. Remember the protests that are uh, going on right now at the Delhi borders. This is the kind of impact they are having. Uh, travelers heading to the Delhi airport are advised to keep extra time for their journey. Stay updated on your flight status. This is what the Indigo Airlines has had to say in their advisory for all those uh, about to board their flights. Remember yesterday the airport had also issued an advisory with with regards to the traffic, the traffic situation in the national capital and the NCR region remains extremely fragile as we've already been informing you that the traffic routes between national capital and Ghazipur, even uh, Delhi and Noida remain extremely congested. Having said that, those commuting towards the airport, it is advisable to check the status for uh, uh, your flight. All right, and uh, remember it was yesterday only that the airport had also advised all those traveling by air uh, to keep some extra time at hand before they board their flights. And uh, to give you a sense of what the traffic situation is like and as far as the wait time at the airports is concerned, we will bring you more information. But as of now, let's quickly go across to Anvit who is at the Tikri border. Anvit, uh, we are also learning about uh, the kind of advisories that are being issued not just by the police uh, but the latest that has come in from the Indigo Airlines. Yesterday we saw the Indira Gandhi Airport also issue an advisory. Give us a sense of uh, how um, inconvenienced the common man is today. See, uh, owing to the protests that are planned and the security arrangements that have been made beforehand to minimize inconvenience to the locals, it has in a way resulted in heavy traffic jams, clogged traffic at many arterial roads, be it the ring road or, uh, you know, uh, people heading to the airport or to railway stations. Some, most of these people also travel from the NCR, be it Ghaziabad, Noida, uh, you know, uh, neighboring areas, Gurgaon. So they might have to face stringent checking because the vehicles are being checked. You know, last time what happened that many sticks and rods uh, when riots broke down uh, during these farmers protests at, at many places uh, in the police had also said that some of these weapons had been brought in uh, vehicles from outside people had also been brought in brought uh, uh, into Delhi from outside so the vehicles are being checked uh, stringent measures have been taken barricades have been raised at border therefore the checking is been done and that is one reason why you know people traveling to the airport must uh, travel with additional time at the in their hands uh, also in the towards the railway station because the Kapaseda border also also uh, has strict security arrangements. So, uh, airport certainly is, a, is an area where people must travel with the, you know additional time in their hands. Uh, also, people traveling from Noida to Delhi, even though uh, farmers from UP have not started march yet, but at the Chila border and the Ghazipur border, security arrangements are such that they are leading to massive traffic jams, uh, especially you know uh, in the working hours, uh, early morning and late night, late evening. Uh, it uh, pr massive traffic is being seen. In fact, D and, uh, you know Delhi Noida uh, flyway DND that is known as uh, that also yesterday was clogged completely people were saying that to travel 12 or 15 kilometers they had to spend one or one and a half hours you know so massive traffic uh, obviously Delhi police has made additional arrangements more traffic personnel are on roads senior police officials are also managing the, uh, you know looking at the situation but see given all that the kind of arrangement that have been done you know like you see border the complete road has been shut so if these are the situation that the police have to deal with it becomes really difficult to manage traffic you know because all the traffic has to be diverted now the load on the arterial roads is certainly big uh, obviously you know people going from uh, uh, going from uh, Delhi to Haryana they also have to take certain routes that were not uh, meant for that additional traffic so the volume of traffic increases eventually and that is one reason why all entire right. Delhi uh, probably if this protest goes on for some more time will be witnessing such traffic uh, jams. All right, and thank you for br uh, bringing us all the latest happening at the Tikri border. But on that note, let's also quickly go across to Yash because remember, Yash Goyal is currently stationed at the Ghazipur border, and we are getting in reports that the traffic situation remains extremely congested as far as routes between Delhi and Ghazipur, Delhi and Noida are also concerned. Um, Yash, we've just uh, broken uh, this news input as far as the Indigo advisory for all uh, uh, travelers. Uh, uh, heading towards the airport is concerned. Give us a sense of what the traffic situation is like. 
Uh, well, Akansha, to give you a quick update, as of now, the situation is a little bit better from yesterday at Ghazipur border. In fact, uh, I am right now standing at one of the national highways, which is actually leading towards the national capital, uh, which is leading towards the national capital from Uttar Pradesh. You can see over here, heavy police deployment, heavy barricading in this entire area. And in fact, like we were mentioning uh, earlier also, as of now, the farmers from Uttar Pradesh have not started to march towards the national capital but the Delhi police and the security personnel are on high alert. You can see as of now the Delhi police what they're trying to do is they're trying to actually weld these barricades together. In fact, then the barbed wire will be put on these very barricades. In fact, just this is just an added layer of security which the police personnel are putting over here at this very point. In fact, these are the barbed wires, if I can show you, which will be put over here um, at the top of these um, very barricades. In fact, like we were mentioning that different advisories have been issued, be it by the, um, by the airport authorities, be it by the airlines. Yes, the traffic has been affected in large portions of the national capital. In fact, early in the morning when we reached here, the traffic situation was not that great. But as of now, as the hour actually proceeds, the situation has bettered. But you can see on both sides of this very road, uh, the personnel are here in very large number. It's not just Delhi police personnel, but RAF personnel, but uh, uh, paramilitary personnel. In fact, these dumpsters have also been kept over here. In fact, these uh, dumpsters have actually some sort of a material which will be used in case if there's some sort of mobilization over here at this very point. Uh, like any other border of the national capital, uh, the senior police officials are also taking stock of the situation uh, every now and then. And in fact, not only this, but uh, different advisories by local administration have also been issued over here. In fact, uh, like you were mentioning about uh, normal life taking a hit, uh, there is an industrial area over here which is known as Saibabad industrial area. Right. In fact, when we try to speak to some of the traders, some of the factory owners, they say they have already started to face inconvenience owing to this very situation. All right. Many thanks to you, Yash, for bringing in all those inputs. So clearly, CNN News 18 giving you a sense of what's life like on ground zero as far as borders, not just between Delhi, Haryana, Delhi, Punjab is concerned, also Delhi and Uttar Pradesh. Yash was just bringing us all the live updates from the Ghazipur area. On that note, let's also bring you the political reactions because remember, the situation on ground remains extremely fragile and it's not just like a battle between the cops and the farmers. It's quickly spiraling into a political battle in an election year also. Uh, let's bring you the political reactions. Kisano or Mantriyo ki baatcheet hui. दो दौर की बातचीत हुई उसका कुछ सलूशन नहीं निकला और आज हम देख रहे हैं कि किसान दिल्ली की तरफ आ रहे हैं शंभू बॉर्डर पे झड़प हुई पुलिस और किसानों के बीच में और पुलिस को जो है वो लाठी चार्ज और कई तरह की चीजें भी इस्तेमाल करनी पड़ी किस तरफ ये पूरा प्रदर्शन आप देखने जा रहे हैं देखिए आपने जो कहा प्रदर्शनकारियों ने जिस तरह से प्रदर्शन किया मैं सबसे पहले तो देश को बताना चाहता हूं कि मोदी सरकार ने बहुत गंभीरता के साथ चर्चा जब-जब किसान भाइयों ने चाहा हमने की और कल भी चंडीगढ़ में दूसरी बार हमारे केंद्रीय मंत्री गए प्रदर्शनकारियों के साथ बैठे उनसे चर्चा भी की और मैं इतना ही कहना चाहता हूं किसान नेताओं के साथ जब चर्चा हुई तब अंत तक मंत्री बैठे रहे चर्चा करते रहे वो लोग उठकर चले गए अंत तक उन्होंने कहा कि बैठिए और चर्चा की जा सकती है अब विषय क्या है कि नए नए एजेंडा भी जुड़ते जा रहे हैं मांग में अनेकों मांगें जब उसमें नहीं जुड़ती हैं तो उस पर चर्चा करने के लिए और निर्णय करने के लिए थोड़ा समय ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि एकदम से उस पर निर्णय हो जाए राज्यों को भी बाकी स्टेक होल्डर से भी बातचीत करनी पड़ेगी और सरकार ने कहा हम इन पे भी चर्चा करने के लिए तैयार हैं हमें बाकी अन्य स्टेक होल्डर से बात करनी है हम उस पर करेंगे लेकिन वो लोग उठकर चले गए सरकार के प्रतिनिधि मंत्रीगण वहीं पे बैठे रहे दूसरा मैं कहता हूँ कि पिछले दस साल में मोदी सरकार ने कृषि मंत्रालय के साथ साथ किसान कल्याण मंत्रालय का नाम भी जोड़ा किसानों के कल्याण के लिए बहुत सारी योजनाएं की Farmers are once again coming to Delhi today to protest. क्या हुआ बातचीत आप लोगों ने दो राउंड की कि क्यों फेल हो गई? न मैं इसे फेल नहीं मानता हूँ। बातचीत का द्वार तो हमेशा खुला रहता है। कुछ चीजों में सहमति बनी, कुछ चीजों में सहमति नहीं बनी। सहमति बनाने का प्रयास हम दोनों को मिलकर के करना चाहिए और किसानों को अनावश्यक ढंग से इस तरह के परिस्थितियों में नहीं झोंकना चाहिए जैसे सामान्य लोगों को भी और किसानों को भी कठिनाई हो